Hello, do you like to listen to stories? Of course, everybody loves to listen to stories. Um, Baba, do you like to listen to stories? Baba, yes, teacher Tina, I love listening to stories. Yay! Yay! Oh, I am so excited. We are going to listen to a story about an elephant. Yes, my elephant friend Toby. I cannot wait for the story to begin. Yes, enjoy the story with me. Toby Elephant Goes Shopping A Dean's Tall Storybook Written and illustrated by Douglas Hall Thank you Douglas Hall for writing this book and illustrating this book for us. Thank you. This is Toby's mother and this is Toby. Toby was very proud to be going shopping on his own for his mommy. He had a list of things to buy, but without looking at the list, he kept saying over and over to himself, A large loaf of bread, a tin of beans, a packet of butter, and a pound of tomatoes. Look how smart he is, going shopping with his shopping bag. On the way to the shop, he met Dolly Rhino, who talked and talked about her birthday party the following Saturday. There is Dolly Rhino. Oh, look at her with the little rhino and the little pram. And there is our elephant friend, Toby. Do come, said Dolly. Don't forget. Thank you very much, Dolly, said Toby. He nearly forgot what he had to buy. Was it a loaf of bread? A tin of butter? A packet of beans? And a pound of tomatoes. Then he saw an accident between a car and a lorry. There is the green car, the red lorry with a boat on it. Oh, look at all the people watching, or the animals rather. What a lot of shouting. Who is going to pay? Toby heard someone say. Toby couldn't stay to see any more. He had to get the shopping done. He said to himself, A pound of bread, a packet of beans, a tin of butter, and a loaf of tomatoes. Toby arrived at the shop and bought all the things. I'm glad Mommy made the shopping list for me to read, he thought. Oh, there is the giraffe behind the counter and <laughs> Mrs. Piggy behind the door. And there is our elephant. The bag that Toby had brought was too small and would only hold the bread, the butter and the tomatoes. So Toby put the beans in his back pocket. On his way home he watched for a little while Tilly Tiger and Boris Bear on roller skates. Look at 
Tilly Tiger there <laughs> with the roller skates. And there is Boris Bear on his roller skates. In fact, he was so interested he nearly forgot the time. He wished he could roller skate. There is Mommy waiting for him with the loaf of bread and the butter that he gave to Mommy. And what is in his back pocket? Oh, do you see the tin of beans? When he arrived home, he emptied the bag on the table. His mother said, Where are the beans, Toby? Oh dear, I am sorry, said Toby. I shall have to go back to the shop. I must have left them behind. Oh dear, do you see the tin of beans? There, there in his pocket, in his back pocket. Oh dear, Toby. Oh dear, oh dear. Yes, here is something for you. You listened to the story. You sat quietly the whole time. Good job. I am so proud of you. Oh!